I started my career in, in investment banking and it was all about the numbers and the numbers really like told the story. I didn't really have a full appreciation for evaluating business opportunities, successes, failures based on anything other than numbers. And so when I sold my first company to Topps, the baseball card company, they asked me to go out and run a game company. And uh, we had one game that was very popular and the, the, the board was a little bit oversized and it cost a lot of money. If it was just an inch shorter, it would be able to save us a lot of money. And I remember thinking, wait, we could just put the board down you know, an inch, nobody's gonna really care, and we're gonna you know, hit our numbers. And so I proposed this to sort of the, the head of gaming, and they said, well, you know what, you, you can't do that. That inch is actually important. Uh, the gamers will notice, and it'll be a big thing. And I said, yeah, well, you know, we gotta hit our numbers, let's just do it. And the gaming community was up in arms about how the game board shrunk, and it ruined the game, and it was a big disaster. And that's what sort of got me, when I started Diverse.com, into a completely new mindset to say, forget the numbers, let's start with the customer and work backwards. Make sure we know exactly what the customer wants, and, the, and then make sure every little detail about the experience is perfected. Uh, and to do that in a way that no other company was doing it. And so that's what we did with, with diapers.com and, and it worked really well and that was a great learning experience that if I hadn't had, I probably wouldn't have approached it the way I did.